what can upsc aspirants learn from rafael nadal you may be knowing that nadal has won his 21st grand slam the highest men's single titles so the recent australian open at the age of 35 he is able to win over medvedev who is far younger to him so when i watched that match i actually felt that there are a lot of things that we can learn from rafael nadal not only if we are aspirants but all of us one thing is the perseverance and the attitude of never die he has the fighting spirit so for the victory for winning the match you know for enjoying the match he can go to any extent so i think upc aspirants need to have this kind of never die attitude even in the mock exams you get less marks or some of your friends score more than you or if unable to understand some concepts in the beginning or unable to finish the syllabus whatever still you have to fight back you should have the perseverance till you actually win the match win the ups exam second thing is never miss the obvious don't miss the obvious the low hanging fruits shall always be taken care of for example nadal previously used to you know play very well only in the forehand and through fitness he used to win the matches but now he started working on serving better serving on volley as well as the backhand similarly in upsc also some aspirants would be like very strong in certain areas or they would be strong in some standard books but do not miss the basic things like ncrts the daily newspaper reading or practice in the mock exams do not miss these obvious things which are required to crack the examination and the third thing that really felt that we can learn from nadal is that even on the worst day when you know when the loss is imminent you are seeing the loss even at that time you can actually create an opportunity and win back for example in the australian open final against medvedev he lost the first two sets out of five he lost the first two sets in third set also till the third break he is not doing so well but from the third break onwards he started and he won third fourth and fifth sets consecutively and won the title so in upsc exam also even if your sa exam or gs1 was really bad still you can gain back and score well in the remaining papers i have seen some students if they have spoiled sa and gs1 or 2 then they would you know their fighting spirit would be gone they feel that okay as any how i lost one or two papers now there is no point of uh, performing well in the remaining exams and they come to the exam you know with a dull attitude but thing is there are some students who they have though they have got some less marks in one or two papers still the fight back and remaining papers they do extremely well so friends from the sports persons there are a lot of things that we upsc aspirants can learn so see the match if possible and read about nadal it will really inspire you see you